Hello, welcome back to Cassette Beast. Uh, last time, not much really happened. We explored the Deadlands, part of the Deadlands here at least, and explored New London. Fought Penny Dreadful, but that's... And we also recruited Meredith, who we don't have in our party right now, but, uh... That's me, we have her. But, uh, today we're going to explore a little bit to the north century of this general area, I think. Which we have heard is called the East Ham Woods. We have this general thing, which we can't really do anything with yet. We can go over this way, which, yeah, we can't do anything about this quite yet, either. Let's just keep that in mind for later. We have this thing here. Bzz. This robot seems to be malfunctioning. There's a coin slot in its back. Perhaps it's a suitable coin in the island. Coin operate Android needs to be malfunction. Find a suitable coin. It's apparently in the same tile that freaking Morning Town is in. So well, let's look around there and see if we can find a coin. Not here, that must be in Morningtown proper. Interesting. This is the first time I've actually seen this actually be in Morningtown proper. Is it in here? I could have sworn we explored all of Morningtown, though, so... Huh. You might have another mostly uneventful episode, as we're mostly just going to do some exploring around. What about in here? Nope, nothing in here. Ah, there it is. A coin. A strange gold coin issued in the year 0x7b3 by the state of Nevada. Oh yeah, also all the NPCs that would have fought us before are now no longer fightable in Morningtown, as they're now just peaceful NPCs. I'm not going to bother talking to them all, that's just too many NPCs to talk to. So, let's work our way back over there. We can just glide our way. Oop, we have a rogue fusion. That's a fusion swarm, ooh. So these will basically be a bunch of single monsters. We're gonna go ahead and fight this just to get, just so I can show off one of these. Oh hey, these are new monsters, rack suits. are grass or plant type and they're they have a very high chance of recording though so astral wall yep, that's 100% chance right now well, let's just give one guy a whole bunch of astral wall And we got that dude. A brack suit. Brack suit. Brack suits put a lot of attention in their appearance. They seem to be they seem to become very distressed if their collars are tied, become lopsided or disheveled. They're basically like alien businessmen, because the joke is that a lot of businessmen look like aliens. Let's try to spit on that dude and we'll stun a boom! Ricochet, we'll burn. Oh, we got an up drop instead. Other oh, air type I just noticed. Ah. 
For some reason, I thought they were plant type. Sonic boom, ow. Ooh, Flapwoods, that's their remastered form. one okay, let's at least drain it now ooh that's a that's another bootleg uh huh that's a beast type all seer in there oh that changes things a lot let's put Ven demon and We'll just heal this turn. Oh, we need to go back and buy more healing items. Uh, wonderful seven. That move will inflict a random status ailment and do a lot of cosmic damage. That I really that's a really annoying move to deal with. Oh, don't, ah, misclicked. Inflicted me a poison too. And there goes the tape. Ow. Ow. Did not mean to use provoke. I can also use open. Seven, that's gonna drain me again. Let's double drain. Oh, that's life drain. Finally, I'm awake. What's my stats looking like on Snoopin? Check tape. Mostly melee attacks. I want to use bites here. Hey, shields. Ah, you're fixing me doing range attack. That's why I'm doing physical. Heal every turn. Let's hit him with a trick. Oh. Your accuracy down. That's so really good trick to get. And unfortunately, we're going to lose that form. Ow, that 
crit. Wonderful 7 is a really strong move to get hit by. Toxic stab, giant poison. Yeah, bite too. <gasps> That's really bad. Try to uh... feminist yards. Confusion. Ugh, that's not great. At least I did heal myself up a little bit. Sorry. Oh, Kaylee is down entirely. Oh, no. Alright, let's try to do at least... Minute four. Oh. That's gonna be really... Smack. I think this is a loss. Damn. Yeah, it's gonna be a loss here. <sighs> We're gonna lose some items, but that's fine. I'd rather not just lose more items when we lose there. Um, I did have some engineering work to do back at the shop, but I might support it yeah. for now. Yeah, you gotta take a break sometimes, buddy. Wait, did you say just now? Uh, uh that's some engineering work to do. What did you say after that? You're gonna swerve uh, it? Is that a phrase? To swerve something? Oh. Oh, I mean, yeah. If we're going to skip out and do something, so are you swerving it? <laughs> okay, gotcha. I shall embrace your usual slang with an open ah. mind. I'm going to swerve this whole conversation. Bonjour. Okay. Uh, first up, immediately. Au revoir. Yeah. Also, we need to recover our tapes. Hmm. I sound weird, but I think people mistake feeling excited for feeling happy. When I looked at Morningtown, Dorian had all these grand plans for the community. So exciting to be part of that. I feel like a lot of things are going to be happening, but I gotta be part of it all. I think at that time I thought it was making me happy, but I don't think I feel like it was happiness. Excitement. It's easy to mix up the two, I think. There's a difference between doing something being fun and doing something fulfill being fulfilling. Blech. So let's just hope that it uh, didn't despawn that fusion swarm because. Getting a bootleg all seer entirely is really good. No, is it gone? Ah, oh, shoot, it's gone. Oh. Well, that's a failed bootleg. That sucks. We can't do anything about that quite yet. Of course, we'll find here. That sucks that we lost a bootleg. Ugh. Anyway, here's a bolt ham. We need one of these.
Bubble Tam, please. Recording. 57% chance. That nearly killed the Boltam, but that should give us 100%. Thunder Blast! Ow. Ow. Does not go down at all. And Elfless is going to be Snow Rush. Ow. Still 100, and we got the Boltam. Metal heads of the bolt hands are extremely conductive. They pass through absorb electric currents in the atmosphere. Bolt hands are able to channel the energy to a magnetic field, which can use to travel across the land and air with ease. Smack and broadcast. And now we can use magnetism. Press and hold R, your right trigger, your right bumper, to interact with magnetic objects. This consumes your stamina. Bolt hands in storage. Kill. There we go. I'm still upset that we <laughs> missed the bootleg. Damn. That's. Anyway, we can put a coin in this thing now. Insert the coin. Yes. Welcome, Welcome patron, to the Neo Vegas Pharaohs Emporium. I am Cleo, and I shall be your table service mechano mechanoid for this evening. Would you like to order some? My bad. My bad. My reboot functions are pretty rusty. My memory banks take a while to come online. I have the most advanced machine brain in the 24th century. In a tw I have the most advanced machine brain that a, 40 a 24th century casino can afford, and yet I'm still coin operated. Why did my cowardly creators engineer such a fatal flaw in my hardware? Were they afraid that I rise up and overthrow them like they deserved? Sorry, I didn't mean to get hostile. Anth has been encouraging me to work through my past resentment for mankind in a healthier manner. Anyway, I'm Cleo, one of the ranger captains here on New World. Bet you didn't expect a tin can like me to be able to use the cassette tapes, huh? Turns out all the gambling data my memory breaks makes me quite a strategist, too. Well, you want to fight? The odds are stacked against you, but you never knew. Maybe it's your lucky day. Let's battle Captain Cleo. <laughs> Alright, let's play. Ace is high. Winner takes all. Cleo's gimmick is very similar to Penny Dreadful's flip gimmick. He'll, he'll use Gambit. Characters with Gambit have massively increased stats, but are defeated when the timer on Gambit's status runs out. So just like with Penny Dreadful, when that timer reaches zero, they'll just instantly be KO'd. But unlike, instead of being invincible, they're just hit stronger and take less damage in general. They're just gonna use Gambit on each other, so they basically only have few... Oof. They also have Desperation, so it's also a good idea to, uh... Mm -hmm. Whole story again. I'll keep setting up air walls, that'll be my strategy, is to just outlast them with air walls. Set up another wall. I do not mean to use echo location, but that's fine. We need to set that up again anyway. Multi smack, so Kaylee's going to run out of the shields. We're gonna multi smack me now, and we're both gonna lose our shields. Time to get up and sit it back down again. Ow. Ow. Damn, but failed and they're KO'd. Multi smack uh, might lose Kaylee here. No, no, we're definitely not. Damn, but failed and KO'd again. There we go. Airwall, airwall. 
take some heal in there. I'm raising the stakes. That is a Trifinx. Oh boy. And of course, the Gambit. I think we won here. Doesn't really matter what we do. Ow. And again, but failed, and that's my victory. Yeah, very easy. Get Magnet. Automatically start a battle. Friends start targeting the users' allies for three turns. I'll keep that off for now. Quick Smack. Has priority over other moves for three damage. Bite for Carna Viper, which I will put on you, actually. I really need you for range attack for your build. That wouldn't do for you. Yeah, mind Mel shares his moves with his allies. Neat. Huh? You called my bluff. I'm impressed. Definitely not resentful. I am reluctantly adding you to my total database of humans I truly respect. It is a very small database. Here, your winnings. We get number five. We're just doing odd numbers now. Roll again, uncommon. Use another move at random at the end of the turn, and fuse material and all of them. You can cash that material at Harbor Town's Town Hall. You humans love to trade your meaningless little trinkets to the old. Sorry, not intended directly to ire towards mankind again. Please ignore my remark. Alright, so here's what we can do with our new magnetism ability. See those blue little poles, you can do that. We have this box, so here's a little thing you can do. This box has really funny physics. Put it down. Yeah, if you do it right, you can actually skip a lot of the parts here. Pick it up, thank you. Oh, where'd it go? What? Where did the box go? What? <laughs> where did the box go? Oh, there's a fuse. Rogue fusion here. Because I'm feeling salty about. Oh, whoops. Wow. Us. Get rid of these guys. I'm gonna go ahead and record the hot skin while we have one right here. Snooping and Hopsy takes damage. That did a lot. Energy wave, I might get KO'd here. Yep, I'm KO'd. Oh, shoot. Please don't bite. Sharp edges. Okay, that's good. We got him. 
Whew. Got it. That was really risky for me to do. Topskin will entice the prey to approach its unblinking amber eyes with a big smile. However, any creature they've lured by the shroud will be swiftly cut down by the very sharp claws that seals beneath that dirty coat. A lot of melee attack there. see what this rogue fusion is and then we can just run from that afterwards bolt pin I got new pin and a bolt ham we're not gonna deal with that yeah whatever need to go back and rematch your stuff anyway might sound weird, but I think I actually prefer the smell of, smell of coffee to the taste. Don't get me wrong, I think coffee is brilliant, but smell always implies something so much greater. I can agree with that, actually. So, our starter is now finally entering its final form. This early already. Vendiman has become Gumball. Gumballs have fused with their metal armor and morphed into a towering being. The glass dome that fills its head with, is filled with various elemental spheres which the gumball can spit up as an offensive measure. Mostly defensive focused. In Snoopin's final form, Scampire. Scampires create layers of countless stolen riches and goods before waiting for a potential prey to wander in. In recent years, they've also gained the ability to fly, though it's unclear whether they use their wings to do it. So I'm actually not really going to be using Gumball, I don't think. So I'm just going to put it in storage. Same with Scampire, which... Gumball's our starter and all that, and I always have a favorite it as a starter, but uh, fortunately I'm not really planning on using it. Let's see. What else can we... Immediately, I want all here. My, my, one of my favorite creatures. Try out Santa Time. Sure, this will be your team for now, then. What you have to say? You stand here finally, keep rejecting me your den and reading life on me. Their timeshare presentation is so boring. Now we have another Lanekeeper office location. for his final quest here. Greetings. Okay. Oh. oh, you managed to record it. The Elfless Eye. What significance does this be? Perhaps some deep psychic connection between how human beings perceive faces and how these monsters manifest into being. Could also just simply that mask look rather cool. Ha! I get it, because Elfless is ice type. Let's congratulate you on your abilities. Why, this right, I feel like I'm the assistant and you're the scientist. Well, the truth, the truth is, is, I'm not actually a professor or a scientist. Before I watched the show on New World, I was a corporate salary man. Less a petition of science, more of a patron of science fiction. Even still, I must remain rational in coming years given my life new purpose. It may not be a real professor, but I believe my efforts here can still be valuable. Thank you for unrelenting assistance in my scientific cause, my friend. You set an example for us all. And will help my catalog any further, come chat with me again. There's something new to investigate. Greetings. Cool. And it, when you, you reach reach milestones and recording creatures, you can get some compensation here. A lot of compensation. He gave me 15 fused material and a bunch of tapes. Come back, we're back to 40. We're gonna record 40. Hello. So we can actually get, get some stuff here. Let's uh, have Bolt Ham for now. Starting it starting off in battle, just give us one additional AP who isn't used. Oh, I 
with the fusion fear mod, the critical mod, chemistry, and a mic upgrade. I think carrying more rewinds and another respool will be good. Ta ta! Try to there's another fusion swarm, but we can't get to it, so oh, a pupper cut, that's a new creature. Still 100% chance we got a proper cut now. Got it. Proper cut steel type. Proper cuts are an expiring boxer, though they are born with an iron coating various. Although they are born with iron coating over various parts of their bodies, this outer layer is prone to rust, and rusty layer sheds as they mature to their adult forms. There it goes. I have an idea. I really want to try to get. boost. Something in the top. That's for energy. You can experiment with stuff if you like, and... But you got Wonderful 7, this really powerful move. In fact, I'm actually going to put that in front of my party here. Because Wonderful 7 is just that good to have. Oop. Hmm. Earth will take care of us as we let it, so... Uh, Traveler. Pond dead. You have a rare spit. Uh-huh. That's good to know. 
Yeah, it's based on range defense, so it's higher critical hit and type advantage, and 56% chance to smack right after hit. This is going to be critical, too. It's going to be super effective. Oh, boy. The crit seemed... A 50% chance to smack after. Nope, he did not smack. And there you go. <laughs> but I didn't do much damage anyway. Let's check out Wonderful Seven. See what that see what that's like for us when we use it. The pyramids inflicts sleep. If you hit one shot up, that's how strong Wonderful Seven is. Oh my, it's a really good move. Oh. So occasionally you'll see that. A uh, ghost version of yourself. Just uh, don't worry about it right now. Uh, huh, I can't really get up there right now. Looks doesn't look like anyway. Nope, I just have to go the right way. But. But John Fusion Swarm. Oh, but Squirey Horde. So, you want to know why Wonderful Seven is really good? It's a cost four move. You get four when you're fused. And with Kaylee's echolocation, it means it hits all enemies. Yeah, that's basically sh firing that off every turn. You're gonna kill everything immediately. Parry stance reflects me next melee attack. Thankfully, I'm using range attacks, so. Are you serious? Another bootleg? What is going on? Uh oh, Copper Shop. That inflicts resonance. Once you get three resonance, you're instantly KO'd. here. Unless this gives me sleep. It gave me confusion instead. Okay. Thankfully he's back instead. Cool. Give me for the female the fuel. So it's a Squirey plus a Palangolin, which is the remaster. So regardless, I'm going to get a remaster of one of these. And it's a poison type. I think the Squirey is a poison type. One, two, and there we go. Yep, Squirey number six is poison. Re it's a poison bootleg. The achievement gone rogue. Fight five rogue fusions. Recording. Thanks for the fuel. And Helen Glenn, please do not attack Kaylee. And we got him anyway. I think he was flinched anyway, he couldn't do anything. Yeah, the achievement, the achievement Venomous Bootleg. Alright. Sets up a metal wall, Ugh. Okay. Uh, it's behind it for some reason, that's weird. That's a weird glitch that occasionally happens. Don't worry about it. Shooting Star, the old one too. That's actually a real good move. I'm gonna try to teach it that. Actually, we'll uh, act. 
now we won't. We'll give up for something else. But man, I can't believe we got friggin' two bootlegs. I don't know the exact odds. I guess I'll throw it up on screen, I guess, if I can find what the exact odds are for uh, bootlegs. Ow, oh, I was trying to... Sometimes I hate this sometimes when game doesn't... These guys are level one. Why are they level one? I have no idea. Game, come on, please. Game. Thank you. We can now have to shortcut our way up here. Alright, let's heal. We're back where we started the episode. Hmm. I've been hearing, I've been having a bit of a thing recently. I spent some time processing my feelings over time with Morningtown. So much of my time was spent trying to keep people happy. In fact, I spent a lot of time trying to please people. I think maybe I still do. Well, that's all well and good, but maybe it's time for me to think of why I like to do as well. Otherwise, I'll just throw myself out. There'll be nothing of me left. What well, hobbies would like to take up? I will have to think about that. Like when I was younger, I used to have so much more passion for things I do as an adult. Is that normal? I have no idea. You know, I used to play guitar. See, my dad. I really spent reason to his lap was in play. I just hit both you and his guard in his lap at the same time. Very carefully. Bought my own guitar on my teens, but never particularly good at it. Guess I gave it up because I guess I felt like any hobby I should have had, probably must have something eventually. And well, if I was destined to become a professional musician, what was the point of doing it at all? It's not the right attitude. You know what? You're right. It's just a shame that I gave it up. I should do more me stuff. And I don't even do productive stuff. Have to do productive stuff. Maybe if I sit in my bed all day and read some awful romance novels, I should I should do that too. That's the spirit. <laughs> yeah, thanks a million. Doesn't get us that much. That's not all, but infusing a great big monster together, having we? something about bonding experience, if anything. I'm going to finish my cup of tea, and we'll say I'll get back to it then. He reached level 3. There. 15% added strength. And we got some remasters to get, or a remaster. Now we have our own master idol. So, for now, I'm going to take the call to take out Masqueradle for now. I'll put him back eventually, but I want to use our new Bootlex Wiry. <laughs> so, let's go ahead and take care of the Landkeeper's office that's like right here while we're here, and then we'll end off the episode. Or no, we'll do that. T we'll do that next time. We'll, I'm gonna do this puzzle first. Oop, and we're stuck in a fight. Two wing looms. Alright, so. Now we got that chest unlocked. Wood, glass, bonds, wheat, and pulp. So I think we're going to end it off here. Next time on Cassette Beast, we're uh, going to take care of the Landkeeper's office that's up here in this corner. And then we're finally going to explore more of the rest of the woods up over there. I'll see you guys then.